everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be talking about the book The Devil All the Time by Donald Ray Pollock. Now I'm going to do something I normally don't do and that's read the description on the back of the book. I have been trying to come up with my own description but I felt like every time I talked about this book I sort of rambled on about it so I'm just going to read the back because it summarizes it pretty well. In the backwoods of Ohio, Willard Russell's wife is at death's door no matter how much he drinks, prays, or sacrifices animals at his prayer log. Meanwhile, his son Arvin is growing up, from a kid bullied at school into a man who knows when to take action. Around them swirl a nefarious cast of characters, a demented team of serial killers, a spider-eating preacher, and a corrupt local sheriff, all braided into a riveting narrative of the grittiest American green. The reason why I wanted to read the back of the book summary is because there are a lot of characters in this book, and so I couldn't really think of a good way to summarize the book without really giving an overview of every character's story, but that was getting to be a bit obnoxious, so that's really kind of a quick overview of what this book is about. This book is really dark in nature, if you couldn't tell by the description. Every character that's in this book is really messed up. They are basically all unlikable characters in the sense that they all do really horrible things. But at the same time, I absolutely love this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 on Goodreads, which is the only 5 star book I have rated this entire year. But at the same time, part of me felt a little bit weird about giving this book 5 out of 5 stars because if you just heard about what this book is about, you'd be like, that book is really disturbing. How can you love a book like that so much? But the writing in this was so compelling and I could not stop reading it. I wanted to finish it as quickly as possible because I wanted to know what happened to all of these absolutely insane and crazy people. This is an adult novel and I would sort of recommend that anyone under the age of maybe like 17 or so not really read this book. It's not necessarily graphic but it talks about a lot of things that are really disturbing so I don't know if it's necessarily good for younger teens to be reading this. But this book does have murder, it does have sex, it does have a pedophile in it, it has a serial killer in it and things like that so there is a lot of disturbing topics that are talked about but at the same time, all these characters are so interesting because they're so messed up, if that makes sense. Like the fact that they are so flawed is what makes them so interesting to read about. This book doesn't feel really heavy even though it's dealing with really heavy topics. Somehow this writer is able to make everything seem not lighthearted. Like he's not making jokes about what's happening, but it doesn't feel overly burdened. And even though all of these characters are so messed up, you do feel bad for them because a lot of times it feels like they're just in bad situations or they don't know how to deal with what they've been given and so they end up doing really horrible or really dumb things. And then after that there's just no way for them to turn back. The story takes place in two places, Ohio and Pennsylvania, and it kind of flips back and forth. This book is broken up into chapters and parts, so every handful of chapters will start a new part and every part sort of switches back and forth between the two locations. Actually, it takes place in more than two locations, but it's sort of centered around those two locations. All the characters that are in this book are kind of connected in some way. They're all either related to each other or they live in the same town or they've encountered the same people, so they all have some degree of separation from each other but they're not too far off. And as I was reading this book you're sort of reading like two different stories that are happening around the same timeline and then in the end they all kind of come together and just how the book ends I was like what is what? This book was absolutely insane and I just had so much fun reading it even though it was so dark. Just an example of how messed up and dark this book is, there is a section of this book where one of the characters, this boy Arvin, his like, I guess, stepsister or step cousin, I'm not exactly how sure how you would explain their relationship, but just one of his family members is a girl that's close in age. She keeps getting picked on by bullies at school. He decides to take revenge. When he decides to take revenge, he goes really far, so he basically beats these guys up until they are in the hospital. One of them he leaves in a ditch on the side of the road. When they go to the guy who's in the hospital and ask him like who did this to you he won't say because he's too scared of him now. Things like that and you're like reading this and you're like what? Like at first it's like okay he's gonna like defend his family's honor or whatever stop the bullies from picking on this girl but then like the extent to which he takes it you're like what are you doing? <laughs> That's kind of what I mean by it's dark but at the same time it doesn't feel 
too dark. I mean, you definitely see all of the twisted, insane behavior within all of these people that just like, I, you can't believe that people actually think like this, but pretty sure there are people who think like this. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 on Goodreads. I put it on my favorite shelf. This might be the best book that I've read all year, which again, it seems so weird to say that about a book that is so dark and disturbing and the characters are ridiculous, but the writing is just so good that I just could not put it down and I loved it so so much. I definitely recommend this book if you're into adult novels and I don't recommend this book if you're not an adult yet or if you've only been reading young adult books because I feel like this might be too far of a stretch for someone who's younger. So yeah let me know down in the comments section below if you've read this book, if you want to read this book, or if you have any questions at all. So yeah that's all I have for now and thanks for watching. But at the same time I felt kind of weird giving this book 5 stars because I felt like if anyone else read this book, or if anyone else heard about this book, they would be like, that book is really disturbing, why would you give it 5 stars?